So baby Jesus, even as a child, looked to God to give him strength each day. Garland, honey, wake up. You missed the story of Christ. I just want my Beyonce doll so I can go to bed. Listen, what do you say? We open up our gifts right now. <laughs> yes, that's a great idea. Is this my show of gratitude for all I've contributed this year? I wanted a Beyonce doll, not a bouncer ball. Garland! Mom, every year I tell Santa what I want. I write letters. I send emails. I've texted the North Pole. I even tweeted Rudolph. I just want a Beyonce doll. If I had the money, I'd buy it myself. Garland, sweetheart, we don't always get what we want in life. But it's just one thing, one simple thing, and I didn't. Well, let me show you what you will get. Some time out. Now I want you to get your act together and straighten up and I want you to go to your... Oh, I'll get it. I want you to go to your... Excuse me, sir. May I help you? Are you lost? What are you doing here? You're hungry. And you don't have a place to spend Christmas Eve? Well, I'll have to check with the kids, but I'm sure they wouldn't mind sharing their Christmas with a stranger. Children, listen, Granny has a very important question to ask you. If someone is homeless and living on the street and has no food, and no place to enjoy the Christmas holidays. Would it be good to invite them to share Christmas dinner with us? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. This is great. Well, I guess it's an anonymous decision. Why don't you come in, stranger? Sir, may I ask your name? Well, now. <laughs> uh. My, my, my friends call me Pops, and since you all got food, I mean, uh, uh, since nobody been rude, you can call me Pops, too. So, Pops, tell us, in your life experience, what's the one thing that would help these children to grow up to be wise like you? Well, let me tell you something. Uh, it ain't no accident that I... I picked this here house to visit. I just had to escape. Garland, now. We, we interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Pops Domino has escaped from prison. Police are warning people to stay inside your homes and do not let strangers in. He's slick. He cool and he sometimes disguises himself as an old man some victims say he convinces people he's a Christian there's a five thousand dollar reward for anyone who can assist in the capture of Pops Domino if I had that money I'd buy myself a Beyonce doll but I'm only 13 years old we don't care how old you are the reward money could be yours for the capture of Pops Domino. And now, back to today's program. So, you want wisdom? Wisdom can only be found when you ask Jesus to get involved with your life and to help you in everything you do. Okay, everybody. I think you've passed the test. Friends, neighbors, children, I want you to meet my father. His real name is Stanley. We plan this to help you understand that Christmas is a time of sharing what you have with someone who has nothing. You've all proved that you have the right heart. Let's hear it for Grandpa Stanley. Yay! Yes, amen. Thank you. Garland, do you have something to say? Yes, Mom. I learned that my attitude was wrong. That things shouldn't mean as much as enjoying time with your family, friends, or the ones you loved. 
And just because you don't get what you want, what's more important is that you make others feel loved. And when you go to jail, you should stay in jail. Dad, this is Pop's Domino. You heard him yourself. He said he had escaped. He just escaped from prison. He's pretending to be a nice Christian old man. He's wearing a disguise. This isn't even a real beard. Watch this. He doesn't really need this cane. There's a $5,000 reward, and they don't care how old you are. We interrupt this program to inform you that Pops Domino has been captured. The pressure of being wanted by police has forced him to turn himself in just a few hours ago. Again, Pops Domino is behind bars. Young lady, you have really done it now. <laughs> to your room. So many unexpected lessons that night, Santa. Dad apologized for not introducing me to Grandpa in the first place. Mom said that if she hadn't sent me to my room, I would have learned the whole story, but that was no excuse for my actions. Grandpa Stanley, well, after I publicly apologized, my sentence was reduced to just going for a walk with Grandpa to the pharmacy to go get some of his back pain medicine. But the most important thing that happened was Granny. She prayed with me and told me about Jesus Christ and how he could help me to stay out of trouble. That was the most important gift of all, knowing Jesus Christ. In case this letter doesn't get to you in time, and you're already on your way with a gift for me, that's okay. We can work things out next year. Signed, Garland. Garland! Coming, Mom! Come on, honey. I love you so much. Hey, looky here, everybody. Uh, I got some smoked chitlins in the trunk of my car. They wouldn't let me bring them in the house. <laughs> How about we all go have some smoked chili? Oh, honey, I love Ooh, some smoked chili. Oh, you're going to love this. Ooh, baby, bring them in. You know Grandma loves those smoked chili. you have any grits? Merry Christmas, everybody. Oh, my God. They're still moving.